This is not the Mate XT. Not this. Not this one. Not even this one. Here come to most funniest. Something ultimate should look ultimate, right? Uh -huh. Introducing the Huawei Mate XT Ultimate Design, a massive tablet-sized 10.2 inches tri-foldable device that can fold into a subcompact 6.4 inch smartphone. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh -huh. But how did Huawei get here? Let's take a little deep dive into history. Do you remember the initial Huawei Mate X? That device was Huawei's first commercially available foldable smartphone. But instead of folding inward like competitors offers from the likes of Samsung Galaxy Fold, the Mate X folds outward. Huawei continued making this kind of outward foldable device until the Mate X2, when the company switched from its proprietary outward foldable to an inward foldable, just like the Galaxy Fold series. And we were all asking what happened. Why the switch? Then there was the Mate X3, followed by the Mate X5, all using inward foldable. Now what Huawei has done is combine what it learned from both outward folding Mate X series and the inward folding of the X2, X3, and X5 to birth the Mate XT Ultimate, a tech marvel that combines both inward and outward folding techniques. To take a 6.4 inches smartphone to a tablet sized 10.2 inches, and vice versa. Now, let's get into the specifics. The overall weight of the Mate XT is 298 grams, and when folded, the entire chunk of three displays layered on each other is 12.8 millimeters thick. Just for comparison's sake, the dual inward folding of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 weighs 239 grams, and when folded, it becomes 12.1 millimeters thick. Coming to the screen, which is the device's most magnificent component. When fully folded, the Mate XT begins its journey from a 6.4 inches screen that has a resolution of 2,232 by 1,000 8 pixels. This grows to 7.9 inches when unfolded midway, with a resolution of 2,232 by 2,048 pixels. And when fully unfolded, you get a larger 10.2 inches screen with 2,232 by 3,184 pixels. The display itself is an LTPO OLED panel, and it has a 120 hertz refresh rate. When the device is fully unfolded, it comes from the 12.8 millimeter thickness mentioned earlier to meager 3.6 millimeters. This may make you wonder how Huawei was still able to squeeze a 5,600 milliamp battery into the Mate XT. This is because Huawei developed the world's thinnest silicon anode high-capacity battery, measuring at just 1.9 millimeters. This battery supports 66 watts fast charging and 50 watts wireless charging for a quicker refill. On the camera wing, the Mate XT features Huawei's cutting-edge X-Mage triple camera system with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra-wide-angle lens, and a 12 megapixel periscope telephoto lens, offering 5.5x optical zoom. The device is available in black and red colors with a gold accent around the hinges, edges, and camera ring, and runs on Harmony OS 4.2 out of the box. Now pricing. While most foldable flagship gets under $2,000 price tag, the Mate XT begins from $2,800 or €2,550 for the base model, with 16GB RAM and 256GB ROM, and touching as high as $3,400 or €3,100 for the 16GB RAM plus 1TB storage option. The Mate XT is already on pre-order in China, with no words on international availability. Another area Huawei was silent was on the chipset powering the Mate XT. However, after the launch event, it was gathered that the Mate XT is powered by the company's homemade high silicon Kirin 9910 SOC, the same chipset that is used on the recently released Pura 70 Ultra. Performance wise, the chipset should be in the same class as the Dimensity 8200 CPU, which is an upper mid range processor, even though Huawei is charging a premium on the Mate XT. But let us be truthful. We all know that the Mate XT is built for the business class and professionals who may prefer productivity over raw performance and power. So, what is your take on the Mate XT? Especially now that we know what it looks like. Can the recently released Phantom Ultimate 2 tri-foldable concept smartphone compete against the Mate XT, especially design-wise? Do share your thoughts and opinion with us using the comment section below. And if you enjoy this recap, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if it is okay with you, consider subscribing to the channel for future updates.